Okay, yes, we are. Awesome. Okay. okay, so welcome everyone. As you can see, I have titled this Soul Walk-Ins, Good or Bad. And we're going to have a chat about that today. And we have Brianna here who has had a actually very personal, intimate experience with a soul walk-in. So this is really interesting stuff. So firstly, how would you, how would you describe a soul walk-in for those that maybe you've never heard of this ever before in their lives? <laughs> well, um, a lot of the time it happens when you're sleeping. Mine happened when I was awake and it happened, it was really hard and traumatic. Um, I hit a really low point. I was very um, depressed. And so the the soul that was incarnating, I had, I had two souls. I had my main soul in a walk-in um, but the walk-in that was there decided it had fulfilled its contract. So it made another agreement with another soul that felt like I could fulfill the, the um, goal that he, or yeah, it's a he that wants, to, wants me to fulfill for him to help society, to, to help humanity. So they switched places that one soul left, the other one came in, and then I physically... Um, got sick with the flu and stuff. So I was integrating a lot of drainage. He was um, changing my my physicality and stuff. And um, what had happened was I had to root him. He took over the lower chakras and my main soul took uh, the upper chakras. So I had to root him, or was it the upper chakras? Now I'm all mixed up. Um, <laughs> it was the upper chakras. I had to root him through down into Gaia and wrap him around the, the core of Gaia to ground him and root him in through the rest of my body. And then I rooted the bottom half of myself up into my star family, my um, home planet, just to get um, my balance back, my equilibrium back. And that helped me start feeling better and more normal. Mm. So... I'm wondering what others might be like the questions they might be thinking is okay. So that's, that's good for you. You knew what was happening. What would happen if someone was experiencing a walk-in and they had no idea. This is hypothetical, obviously, but I'm sure it's okay. happened across the plains and they just feel like, how do you think they might be feeling just like off? Like you said, physically sick. Um, like, Okay. Suicidal. Suicidal. <laughs> yeah. They, they might be feeling suicidal. That's how low I got. And I had to make a care plan. I had the suicidal hotline number available to me. I called my brother. I made a self-care plan, a course of action to protect myself because I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do, but that's how low I got. Yeah. And so. why do you think that happened? Do you think just such a big shift that was changing within you. you. It was like your physical body couldn't handle it. Yeah, it's it's a traumatic event. It's trauma. It's it's your part of you. Your soul essence is leaving, but it's being replaced. So it's like that that little um, emptiness while the change is happening. You feel empty, and there's no hope. Mm -hmm. There's not nothing. There's nothing there. Mm -hmm. So it happens instantaneously, but you still feel mm -hmm. that. So it's like what's going on, what's happening. I, I'm, you're at a loss for words. You don't know how to comprehend what's going on. And then I had a friend of mine um, say, you had a walk-in and I'm like, I did. And thank God I'm an energy healer and an empath. And I did some research and, you know, I was able to process it, but I was sick for a few days and I'm still, I'm just mending now. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean, I guess your main soul is still there. So it's, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to articulate. I like my past traumas um, are there, but it's like no uh, emotional connection to it anymore. Um, I don't feel traumatized. Like physically, I feel the trauma, but emotionally it's just, not 
relevant anymore, I guess. Like I feel a cold disconnect almost. And I don't know if I'm gonna have to reconnect to mend those um, traumas so it doesn't seep into my next life or I, I haven't gotten that far yet. So I'm still in the beginning stages. Yeah, it's interesting because it makes me wonder, because uh, we've both had similar histories, and it makes me wonder mm -hmm. as, as a recovering addict who experienced lots of trauma, if something similar like that happened when, you know, coming into recovery, realising our mission and knowing we have to go so much deeper and higher than we ever have before, than we even think we're potential, potential of, because I have a, a, the same feeling as you in recovery. Like for me, it's like, I don't feel bound by my traumas. I don't feel, um, I don't feel traumatized by my traumas. It's like, it's a story. It's just a story now. Uh, it's just but I, part of you, but there's a disconnect. Yeah. yeah. For, for me, I feel like that, that has happened for me through integrate part of me <clears throat> merging and integrating with my higher self every day so that I do see things from a higher perspective uh, for myself and for others. Yeah. Um, I'm hearing there could have been a walk-in, but also you could have just ascended that high of yeah. a plateau that there's just yeah. um, no looking back. There's It's a part of you, but there's no you've healed that aspect of you, you know, so. Yeah, that's what I get mostly. It's, uh, it's a higher self thing. Yeah, but talking about this, my third eye is going bonkers and the new soul is going, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so Interesting. yeah. Yeah. It does make I, you I, Go Yeah, ahead. It, it does. I, I don't know what I was gonna say, I just. Mm. And I know for me, I was going to say, it, it makes me wonder how many people have suffered such deep traumas that the walk-in comes in to help um, get them through to that next level. Some of, some of us don't make it. We, we decide to end it there because it's just too much. Go <laughs> Just um, when the walk-in is coming to help push you along for the next part of the journey. Go ahead. <laughs> yep, yep. That's that's what it was. I I kept saying when it happened. I kept saying I'm tired. I can't do this anymore. And I kept repeating I'm tired. I my soul is tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. And that's when the shift happened. Yeah. And that's when that old soul said I'm t I'm done. I'm tired. I've completed my task. Yeah. The new one exchanged. It, it, um, ready for the um, my body, my physical body could do what he needs me to do for humanity so and I don't know how I feel about that part because yeah. <laughs> I still have like anxiety and shit <laughs> so <laughs> it does make me wonder why you had two souls to begin with do you believe that's connected to um you know again trauma uh we can dissociate yeah. I I wonder if dissociation is partly you know, well, it is partly we're leaving our bodies. So our soul's leaving our bodies, but someone else is still running the show, right? I think, oh my God, what I'm just hearing is my soul split in two. Part of it that couldn't, the feminine part could not handle it. The masculine part stayed. So it divided yeah. to handle the shit storm. Yeah. And that's when the souls were, the Ooh. two souls were created. And they kind of grew to create their own feminine and masculine identities. And then when I got older, that's when the bipolar came into play because they kept ascending and getting bigger. Hmm. Wow. I that, that is actually quite common uh, because that is exactly why shamans have been doing soul retrieval for eons is because our souls do split. We, we leave parts of ourselves in so many places <laughs> dimensions other timelines and we need to we need to call them back we need to call all those lost parts and pieces of us back because that's why we do feel and I, I was like this for 30 years of my life even as a young child I felt empty and 
like I missed, I was missing something and I didn't know what that is. I, I felt like an alien on this planet. I felt like I was different from everyone else. But I see this as a gift now because we're the true empaths who know how dark the road can be for others, but also how to transform and ascend out of that and actually come out as a beacon of light at the end. In, in, yes, in that darkness is the light. We bring the darkness, we shed light on the darkness to share our stories. That's why we've had such trauma. Yes. We bring light to it so we can experience and share with others so they're not alone like we were. And I'm getting goosebumps, you know, oh it's, <laughs> it's, it's like the mission is to share. And so, so I'm getting, so other people aren't alone. You're not alone. We are here. We've experienced it. You are so not alone. And that's the whole thing, you know, there's division and it's just the, the main mission is unity oneness and we have to, and the more unity oneness is strived for, the more division there is. And, and that's the tough road. It is a tough road and it can feel like a lonely journey when you're choosing the right path for you. But the yeah. more of us that do that, the more of us that will realize it's doable and that we can do that because yes. Yes, the collective mission at the end of the day is to reunify this planet and bring more light so that we can all ascend. We're seeing all of this division. We're seeing uh, dark energies try and interfere. We're seeing spiritual entrepreneurs, spiritual entrepreneurs, spiritual people being almost taken over by these dark forces because yes. that's what they want to do. They, they want to play us against each other. But you know what? At the end of the day, there's us that know better and we're not allowing that. We will not allow ourselves to be taken over, to be manipulated, to be controlled and do harm to others. We'll hold the light no matter what through the psychic attack, through the evil eyes. I've been copping it all this year. I'll still just hold the light and send the love because that's yeah. what I was born to do show others that yep. that love you can love a perpetrator you know you can and that's it's almost like they feed on the anger they do and you just gotta okay love you boundaries up love you so do you know what's interesting about that is we have planetary warriors human warriors that go to other planets to help fight their wars to help save the good from the bad, as we say, like yeah. you know, the, uh, like the spider beings, the Draco beings. I'm not saying they're all bad, but but they're right. quite, they're quite full on. And these guys are trained heavily in removing their own fears first and coming into battle in a neutral space of love because it's when they come oh. into battle with anger or fear they'll get picked off like that. They'll die. Yeah, so that's exactly the way I see it as what's happening on planet Earth. Yeah. We just haven't had that training. We're trying to train ourselves and learn from others that it really is the love that wins. Take a look at that. It is. It's the strongest energy. It's just a different, it's just anger and stuff takes the, the role because it's more pronounced. Love is gradual and tender, you know. Mm -hmm subtle and that's the way it's supposed to be yes and the beings that can most help anyone with this are uh, this i'm getting it's the same beings that trained these um army people whatever you want to call them um the venusians train oh, i never heard of them our human warriors to love no matter what so that they could go into battle with these spider beings with the draco beings with whatever beings from that place of total heart-centered love um because these galactic uh beings are all very telepathic so they know if you're afraid they know if you're angry so really they had to be very heavily trained in coming in from that neutral space of love and i just wow. i think that's so cool <laughs> so the okay. So sorry. Um, so my, the soul that left was draconian, 
And when you said Venusian, I heard that's the new soul. Beautiful. And not to say Dracos are all bad. I have a Draco guide who is actually very wise and soft and beautiful. Um, I don't know if there's any of those in the spider population, but definitely with the Draco, okay. uh, almost like humanity, there's Dracos uh, rising up and trying to tell the other ones, hey, you know, let's, <laughs> let's yeah. do this nicer stuff. Yeah, like, let's try and be more love and kind. And yeah, so they've got their own internal. Uh, Just like we do. Yeah. Yep. I'll have to learn about the Venusians now. I'm, I had never heard of them before, so. Yes, I had to call them in um, last, well, a few days ago when I had a psychic attack placed on me. I had, uh, someone was trying to put spells on me and stuff and I was, I've been doing my egg cleanses daily and I called in the Venusians. I have to do that, yeah. They sang to me. Um, powerful like folk not quite folk music but whatever their music was it was all in light language but it's like all their voices created this instrumental burst of energy uh to break I can up feel it. and release release whatever it was it was so beautiful I can see it almost yeah. it's it's weird yeah it was gorgeous you'll love them yeah well, you well, are obviously <laughs> yeah partner. I'm curious I I wonder what my purpose is now <laughs> that's that's the weird thing about the soul walk in is that everything has changed now and and I did make a, a heartfelt uh request that the people that I'm in contact now with I want to stay friends with and I don't because they said that you can um lose interest with um people places things and stuff and I, I said no I don't want to lose in lose touch with the people that I love that's important to me so I set that boundary right away so well Venusians are all about the love so I think your plan yeah. will be very clear for you yeah I just that's how I roll <laughs> don't want to lose that part of me so I love that so much yeah <sighs> we both sigh <laughs> yeah. it was nice to talk about actually yeah it was we yeah Beautiful. it's kind of yeah. uplifting it kind of yeah. felt like I got something off my shoulders I yeah. think so. I didn't know I had to get it off my shoulders yeah I love it beautiful well thank you ladies who were joint who joined us um uh, this is going to be uploaded to youtube so that you can find it easily also um yeah i think that's it feels like we've completed yeah, the task. completed <laughs> yeah completed. i just heard completed so <laughs> awesome all right ladies thank you